I've done it again. Hello world, welcome back to Accelerate and welcome to a cold British evening. So yes, we are back from Florida, we are back in the UK and the car content is coming back. Now, I've got a surprise for you guys that I think is gonna need some explaining. Uh, I've bought another car. Now, you may not believe it, but yes, as you can see, it's another Mark 1 MX-5, or more specifically, a UNOS. It is a 1.8 import. And you, you may be wondering why I haven't showed you the whole car there. There is a reason. Yeah. Now, as you can probably tell, the car is far from roadworthy, so I need to say a massive thank you to JW Recovery for delivering the car to me on such short notice. So first of all, I want to apologize for the light, and as you can see, it is evening now. The joys of being back in the UK, the evenings are getting uh, closing in so quick. Anyway, back to the car. It is a UNOS VR Limited. The VR Limited was released for the Japanese market only and was offered in just two colour combinations unique to the VR. This car is finished in excellent green Mika, or option B as it's also known. The VR Limiteds came standard with a 1.8 four-cylinder engine and Torsen Limited slip differential with a 4.3 final drive. There are a few interior changes to the VR Limited too, but these have been changed over time. There were only 800 units produced in this color combination. Now, first of all, I want to say a massive thank you to, I think I've been quite lucky lately. Uh, the people I've bought cars off, I hate buying and selling cars. But the sellers and the buyers always make it 10 times easier. And I want to give a massive shout out to Matthew Bolden, who I bought the car from. Now, he owned the car for over eight years and he did all of the work uh, within, within his ownership. So I'll have to apologize, I'm still jet lagged to hell, so I still didn't even know what day it is. But anyway, so yeah, Matthew, a massive shout out to him and a massive hat off because this car has done so well. And the reason it looks like it does, it looks like he's just hacked away at it, but he's done a lot of the work himself, including paint. And the next step was to see uh, the rust. He basically started cutting into it. And I think it was one of those, he's put an incredible amount of time and money into this car. But I think it got to a point where even he thought, no, this is too much. So where do we start? Right, the reason, the reason I bought this car, so we were actually in Florida when I put a deposit on this thing. <laughs> My heart got the better of me. I just couldn't miss the opportunity. And I gotta say, it was a bit scary handing a fairly decent deposit over to someone halfway across the world that I'd never met. But luckily he was such a genuine guy. Now, let's have a look at the car first, as you probably saw from the cinematics. But the best part, yes. Now I've been saying for a while that I'm gonna go turbo with mine. So when this popped up for the price I got it for, I just couldn't say no. Now the whole um, turbo install was done by Entech and he's got all the receipts and everything proven it. And as you can see, it's just been done so well. And the engine in general just sounds, it sounds so good. So the entire turbo is done by Entech, uh, including map, and it made 227. And one of my favorite things is it's actually got high boost, low boost option. So it is running the ME221 ECU, which is the one I was gonna go for anyway. Um, that's the turbo side of it. And the noise is just absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> So as we walk around, we've got Rotor Grids, 15 by 8 very desirable wheel for these cars. I think they suit it so well. Uh, 808Rs, I think they are. Yeah, Yokohama 808Rs. Uh, they look brand new, in fairness. Uh, so we'll go over the good things first. Uh, obviously, turbo back exhaust, MX-5 cat back, I believe. It's got the GC Fab roll bar with the... Oh, I like that. I thought you just noticed that. GC Fab roll bar. It's got HSD Mono Pro coilovers. Uh, it has got, I can't remember what Brandy said, is a stage two clutch in it, so it is an upgraded clutch. It has got what looks relatively new, mohair roof as well. Coming to the interior, nice Momo steering wheel he's got there. One of my favorite things again, I don't know if you can see the clocks there from Rev Limiter. And there's your high boost, low boost switcher. AEM wideband with the AFR gauge and everything. And I have to say, just the general condition of this car is just lovely. Apart from the outside, apart from the metalwork, uh, the Mark II leather seats as well. So I'm gonna jump back in because it's a little bit warmer. Now, I probably should explain um, my plans with the car. Now, I'll be honest, I saw it, saw the turbo, saw that it was a VR Limited and just thought, oh, I want that. And I know some very clever people, uh, some good fabricators. So my ultimate dream is to have this as the shiny show car and my MX-5, the one I've got now, as my track car. 
because uh, as you guys probably know the s2000 is going that's going to be going off for sale very very soon and i just thought worst case even if it's too far gone the bits on you the work that's been done and how it's been done uh, is, is worth it for that but after meeting matt i was there for the goods well over an hour probably two hours just speaking to him talking mx5s uh, he really wants his car back on the road so i really am going to do what i can to bring it back i'm uh, i am going to get the guys work to look at it to see what's what uh, unfortunately as you can probably tell there is no mot on the car at the moment and it will never pass an mot the way it is so i can't take it for the test drive managed to drive it up and down i'm actually in the car park at the moment so for those wondering that is how i took it for that little blip then so yeah there it is this is another now we did say me and kenny will happen we are trying to, to thin out the accelerate fleet but like i said this was just too much uh, of a good opportunity i hope i hope it was too much of a good opportunity to miss like i said i think the next video i want to see what kenny thinks of it because even the little blips i've had this is just it feels completely different to my guy i think this is going to win him over and obviously we're going to have a good look at the rest see how far down it goes because uh, like i said that's the reason matt got rid of it but being sat inside it would be a shame to get rid because it's just such a nice place to be i don't know how much you can see um so yeah like i said i think the next one's gonna be either getting it up on a ramp getting kenny's reaction and just going for there but i knew this is gonna be a long project but just hearing the turbo noises i cannot wait to get stuck into this thing but i think that'll about do it for now so thank you so much for watching guys thank you for your patience like i said we were in florida so the car content was a bit scarce and the algorithm really really did not work for us so that's why we've kept some content to come back but we're so excited now to get stuck into the car content so thank you all for your patience and your support while we were out there so yes thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe we'll see you in the next one boom Bye.